Hi, Johan here with Liquid Files. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about Action Scripts. So, Action Scripts is a way for you to extend the functionality of Liquid Files with your own custom developed uh, scripts that can perform additional functionality. So, uh, at the moment, we're supporting four different functionalities. So, password validation and attachment upload validation has already been present in, uh, in, in Liquid Files for many, many versions. And now it's sort of we we brought it up so it's easy before you have to sort of install this in the command line. And now we made it a lot easy to use these functions if you want to. We've also added the share files upload validation, so pretty much the same thing as the attachment upload validation, but for share files now, so a fairly heavy re requested feature. And the the one that I want to focus on in this video is a new one which we call use uh, use delivery action. So this is something where we can trigger a script to run when a file has been delivered to a specific user. So this is for you to, for instance, copy files from Liquid Files automatically to a Windows share or an FTP server or a, a SFTP server or trigger a script to run an additional API for some other functionality. You can anything that you can program that you can de uh, develop in, in internally. You can you can now trigger in in Liquid Files. For for this example, we are going to copy a file when it's been uploaded to a Windows share. So we have created this uh, this Windows uh, this Windows shares. So we have a Windows server, and on, in this incoming directory, we have configured this this as a share. And our goal with this video is to copy files automatically when a file has been delivered to a specific user inside Liquid Files. So here is our Liquid Files system in question. So we go to admin action scripts and here we can now add action scripts. So, so the way it works is we add the scripts here and then we assign them different actions. So in this case I am going to like a, a cooking show, I am going to paste in some code. We call this copy to uh, copy via smb.rb. So this is a Ruby file, uh, and what it does simply is that it uh, uh, well we, we need JSON in order to parse the to parse the the, uh, the the message data that's coming into this script. So we have two we have a couple of variables so we want to copy this to this window share it has this ip address and this incoming share incoming and password are the username and password and then on uh, on as as argument one so we so when we're executing this script we are we will be giving a file name uh, as an argument and we can read that file and that will have a bunch of message data and you can look in the documentation so on the user delivery so here's the example message data this is what this file will look like. So it's a JSON file, and it will have all these uh, all these parameters that you can that you can uh, you can see. And most importantly for our uh, for our use case here is this system file. So in in the message attachment system file is the system file when as it appears in in the message. So this is similar to the API that you've already been able to query in Liquid Files. And now it just runs this uh, run this automatically. Um, so the yes, yeah, so we want to. So what we want to do is we want to we want to grab all the attachments system files, and that's what we're doing with this script. So we're looking. We, we're reading the we're reading the JSON, and then for each of the attachments, we we're, we're grabbing the system file, and then using this SMB client command, we are copying this to this share. And uh, and setting this this file name, uh, so that's a, that's the that's the script. So now we're going to add a user. Add a password that's not strictly needed. 
and we are going to attach our action. So our copy via SMB action script that we just uploaded. Uh, so now we have we have this user, and now when we go to send the file, so going to drop this file here and send this file to SCP at littleftest.com and sending this file and it will give will give it a moment and then we will see that this file has now appeared here. So a fairly convoluted way of sending a Dilbert strip to a local SMB server. But obviously it, it shows exactly how this will work and then with a little bit of imagination you can hopefully see how you can how you can integrate this into your environment and do all sorts of uh, nice things um, in um, to you know extend the functionality of liquid files also as soon as we added a script we will in the configuration configuration settings also get these uh, these password validation action the attachment validation upload action and share upload action and we can we can just add add different scripts here as well um, when when we've uploaded them so you ha just have to add the the script that you want and then you can attach it to the action that you require so i hope you find that useful looking forward to seeing you for more liquid files videos thank you